Hello, everyone. Yes, I am still around. However, I have not touched my inks in over a year. It's just, it's not a long story. It's like a whole bunch of short stories, you know, <laughs> just uh, life. Life just has been so busy. I have not had time to paint. Um, we are back in the state of Washington again. So, lots of going back and forth. Last time I painted, I was here in Washington. We had to go back to North Carolina, and now we're back in Washington. It's just been kind of an absolutely insane um, year to year and a half or so for us. So anyway, I'm going to try to get back into this again. I'm feeling very awkward and weird about it because it's been so long since I painted or since I made a video. Uh, just... So bear with me, this is going to be a little strange and I'm a little nervous about how uh, my painting's going to go because I have not done this in so long. Alright, so uh, today I am going to use uh, the some Ranger inks and Amethyst, Wild Plum, and Stream because those are three of my favorite, like, go-to colors, sort of. So, I figured that would be a good starting point. Uh, this is Jacquard Pinata Brass. As if you've watched any of my videos, uh, my old videos now, <laughs> you'll know this is my favorite metallic to use. I just like the way it kind of clumps a little and floats and moves and leaves little lines and things. Uh, this is um, Graphics Opaque White Craft Plastic. So I can get that in the shot there for you. Um, that is what I'm using. This is one I recommend if you don't like the staining of Yupo. Uh, it is not as expensive as some of the other, you know, sort of art papers. Uh, Nara is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a little more expensive. Um, <clears throat> Evo papers, uh, I, or well, it's et cetera papers, but the Evo, E-V-O, uh, I love theirs. Theirs is fantastic too. I'm also using this, uh, 99.9% isopropyl alcohol, which is what is in this little squeeze bottle. Now, everything that I'm using. I'm sorry, I keep bumping my little thing. I just, I don't have a good setup here in Washington to paint. Um, everything I'm using today came from Amazon except for my inks. Um, they came from a store called Craft Warehouse. If you are in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Craft Warehouse is a fantastic place to go for any arts and craft supplies, pretty much. They have, I, I can spend hours walking around in there. It's not that big of a store, but um, it's decent sized. But they have got just a ton of stuff. All right, so I also have my Revlon hair dryer. Same one that's traveled back and forth across the country with me a few times now. Still working, even though it's really nasty. Um, sorry, I'm trying to reach my foot pedal, my dusty, dirty foot pedal. This is what I use to control my hair dryer. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, don't think, I don't know if those back there will do you all any good or not, but I will put links to the stuff that I got on Amazon uh, in the description. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting tangled in all my wires and mess I've got here. Um, I'll put links to the stuff that came from Amazon uh, in the description. I got these from Amazon. They came with a funnel. If you do order some of these little bottles, make sure you get a set that's got this little tiny funnels with it because otherwise you're going to have a really rough time putting your uh, alcohol into the bottle. The only other thing I've got laying here today is cotton swab because you never know when you need to clean something off. And this uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. This is not a stump like you would use for blending. This is a little plastic thing. Uh, it was with the, um, 
acrylic paint supplies, I think, at Hobby Lobby. It was just some little cheap thing I picked up, which if you haven't watched me before, you'll see that I use this round in the most <clears throat> because it's really good for dabbing and kind of helping the ink move a little bit. And I do occasionally use the pointy end too. But that is all I'm using today. This is just a silicone mat. Came from Amazon as well. Um, I've got a like vinyl tablecloth thing down on the table here, but I figured I would give it a little extra protection because if I have to clean the um, tablecloth with alcohol to get the ink off of it, it also washes the color off of it, which is kind of weird. All right, so now that I've run on for like five minutes and haven't even started yet, and I have not used a bottle like this in a few years now, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I do have a big bottle to um, pour into one of the needle nose bottles, but this, I just recently bought a pack of the Pinata, I think it was the Exciter pack or something, some Pinata inks, and that was in it, so I figured I might as well use it. All right, well, I've put this off as long as I can, so let's see if I can manage to get anything done. Um, and I, I have no earthly idea, I have no plan, I have no nothing, so we're just gonna shoot from the hip here and see how things go. Uh, I am using my dryer on the tool setting, which I always do. Um, now the craft plastic, if you're using something with heat, um, the craft plastic will hold up decently without warping too much. You just want to be, you know, careful not to get it really overheated. I probably should have taken some time to try to plan something out a little bit here, but why not just wing it? Ugh. Knocking inks over. I'm sorry, I get my arms all over the place and everything. I just, uh, my, almost all of my, um, video stuff, my lights, my, uh, like a tripod for my phone. All of that stuff is back in North Carolina, so I don't have anything that I would normally have. So if the lighting's bad or anything, I apologize. That's why. When we came out here this time, we flew instead of driving, so I could only put in you know, <laughs> what I could fit in a suitcase. We had two suitcases each for coming to Washington for two years. So, so some of this stuff I have bought since we got out here. And uh, some of it you know, a few things, a few little things, my dryer and stuff I brought from home in North Carolina, but I didn't want to have to rebuy everything, so I'm just going to try to make do. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna keep on hitting this. I'll figure something out eventually, 
to where hopefully I won't keep on shaking you all around quite so much. Here's where I sometimes like to use like this. If I don't want that little hole in there, I just kind of dab on that. And, uh, you know, it kind of helps it to fill in before the ink dries all the way. and I don't particularly care for these bottles because I always put my finger over the end and shake it. And I always get way more ink on my finger when I'm using one of those. One reason I like these three colors, other than I just happen to love all three of these colors, is they blend together very good they they make some beautiful colors when they blend together even normally a greenish color and a pinkish color you wouldn't think would would look good together but it really does there's enough blue in the stream that it kind of makes it look like a purplish tone in there which i like And you see what I did here? It just sort of splattered out of the top like an air bubble was in there. That's one of those things you can go back and just clean up with your uh, cotton swab. You don't want it looking like that. I'm hoping that you know you all can see and that this I'm not completely blocking when I'm using my dryer um, because I can't see my phone so I can't really tell how much it's blocking. I never know what's going on <laughs> as far as what you all can see until I and go back and replay the video to kind of edit on it a little bit. You can see, well, maybe you can see that I'm trying to stay back, not over top of it, which I've mentioned in quite a few videos. Until it gets until it gets pretty dry, you don't want to go right over top of your ink because <clears throat> it will just sort of send it all over the place. Sorry, just thinking a second there, trying to decide if I want to do anything else yet or just go ahead and sort of spread it out from there. All right, let's just spread it out from here and see how things go. So I'm putting it right on the edge there. Gonna blow it in so I can pick up some of that ink that's in there and then just pull it back out again. You want a super soft edge, make sure you keep 
alcohol on that outer edge. Just not liking the way that was kind of curling up in there, like getting wavy and bumpy. It's funny to feel like such a newbie at this again. I had absolutely no intention of stopping for as long as I did. I knew I was going to have to take some time when we went back to North Carolina just to get everything packed up and, you know, the drive back takes about it, almost as well. It takes about four days of good 10 to 12 hours a day of driving. I knew I was going to have to take a little bit of time, but I did not mean to take this much time. Mm. Let's see. And that was two drops of purple, which I didn't really mean to do, or whatever color that is. Amethyst. Uh, didn't mean to get quite that much in there. I had my my paper is not completely flat this table not that you can see it since I've got it all covered up it's a beautiful table <clears throat> it's just a handmade sort of kitchen table but it's not very even like very flat and so I kind of struggle a little bit I had forgotten about how uh, not flat it was until I started painting just now. We're back at the same house that we were in last year, renting the same property, which we just love, and we love the couple that owns it. It's really sweet. Couldn't ask for a better landlord and landlady if we, uh, you know, have to rent. We would definitely prefer to rent from them. I blew my paper towel off the table. I was going to wipe the back of that off. But... Yeah, it's somewhere halfway across the kitchen now. Well, I hope that some of you all are some of my long-time viewers and that you all didn't completely give up on me. I know I got 
quite a few super sweet uh, emails and private messages and things from people concerned about me, worried about me, because I did sort of just disappear on everyone for so long. And I am really sorry about that. I should have, um, at least on the community page or something, just let people know that I was fine. Um, it was one of those cases, you know how time just gets away from you? And I just, it was like all of a sudden I realized, oh my gosh, it's been a few months since I posted anything. And I just kept being convinced just every few days that I was going to start painting again. Just, you know, within the next few days. It just never seemed to happen. I'm just kind of trying to steer that dark line there. I just kind of want that to go down. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I want to leave it there. Sometimes I'll leave something like that. Other times I'll put a little alcohol and, you know, go back in and try and pull some of that back out again. This is now, using the dryer is just very much muscle memory for me. It's all of that, just kind of my arm just knows what to do. But I'm sure I'm probably going to end up making mistakes that I would not have made had I not stopped painting for so long, so what's going to really be funny is when you all start correcting me and telling me the way that <laughs> I need to, need to do to make something better. And feel free, feel free to leave me any comment you would like. Um, although that is one thing I am probably not going to do. I, I will read the comments. I have been reading all of the comments that have been coming in, uh, even while I haven't been posting anything new, um, but I just don't always get time to answer them, and since uh, school has started back for the girls now, which for those of you who are new, um, I do homeschool, so school days tend to be rather busy.
And the girls are now almost 13 and almost 14, which just blows my mind. Um, but that also means that, you know, their work is getting a lot harder and they're needing a lot more of my time and assistance when they're working on their actual schoolwork. I mean, I have to obviously teach them the stuff to start with, but I like to be handy when they're doing their, just doing the exercises and practice and the actual school work part, book work, so that I can help them give them tips and things if they need it. Anyway, sorry I got kind of, I'm, yep, for those of you all who are new, I am horrible to go down a rabbit hole, as the old timers where I'm from like to say. Um, but anyway, that does take up a lot more of my time, and it's just very difficult with as many videos as I have. A lot of people are going back and watching, you know, older videos and will post comments and questions and things on them. And, uh, I just can't keep up with all of it. I feel like I would spend half my day, and a lot of it is things that have actually been answered in a video. But... Um, I will pop in occasionally and answer people's questions or reply to comments. Your best bet on getting a reply from me is usually the day that I post a new video. I feel like I'm really struggling with this one right now. There's a lot I really don't like about this, but I didn't want to make this a super long video. I'm actually letting the girls start school late this morning just so I could get this video in. Go ahead and get this done. And Not that the girls mind being late starting school. That's not a huge issue for them. <laughs> they don't mind a bit. But I figured if I could get the painting part done early this morning, then while they are doing their um, book work and things, I could maybe get the editing done and get links and stuff looked up. See, I'm trying to decide what I want to do because I don't want to blend too, too much together in here, but it definitely needs some work. Let's see. You see, I'm kind of trying to follow this little line that's already there with the brass because I just like that little line. That's pretty cool. Well, 
folks. I just am at a loss right now. And this is where being in a hurry is never a good time to paint. But I had kind of gotten to this point of feeling like if I don't go ahead and do it, I am never going to. Because there's just always some reason, you know, that your time's taken up by something else. And, you know, I just have got to start making time to do this. Because I really, really do miss it. And, you know, I miss, I miss doing the videos for you all. I really, I love reading the comments and things. Well, most of them. There was a comment I got not too long ago on a painting where somebody said it looks like a skid mark. So, if that one maybe I didn't like so much. <laughs> but, but it did make me laugh. So... They, they weren't talking about a skid mark from a time. Yeah. Yeah. Not having a level surface causes some issues. If you have somewhere that you can make sure that your paper is flat, it will help them. It does cause, and this part of it is the this, but there's a ridge right there in the table too that is keeping it from being even. Well, I just mostly think this one is completely awful. Um, not happy with this. And it's, it's this mess in the middle. This is my problem with this one. It's the mess in the middle. I just, uh, I don't like to have it too busy in the middle of the painting, but... If I keep on going too much with it, uh, it's just going to end up, um, everything's going to be blended together. I'm not going to get the colors that I'd like to have, but I'm going to try one more. One more little fix it here, maybe. See what happens. Another thing about when you keep going back over and over and over your brass or you know whatever you're using if you're using something like the brass it tends to blend in with the ink and you don't have that good solid edge you know the little line of brass on the edge So, I hope you all can hear me, because I had, um, I can't remember, like, how loud I need to talk for you all to be able to hear me over the noise of the dryer, which, yes, I know that the noise of the dryer bothers some of you, 
Um, I have gotten quite a few comments about that over the years. But uh, it's just really hard for me to find the time to go back and just do voiceovers. Because you figure if I've got a, if it's a 45 minute video, then I've got, you know, another 45 minutes of just doing a voiceover added to that. And then whatever other editing stuff I need to get done too. Um, I don't know. This is one of those times, you know, when I wish that you all could let me know immediately, like, hmm, what should I do? Because I know this is not what I want, but what should I do to fix it? Because I don't know. And maybe one of these days, I'll get around to trying to do some live videos, and then you all can tell me what you think I ought to do. I use my dryer with my left hand. I am a right-handed person all the way. Okay, folks. Well, that's just kind of a hot mess. But I'm going to leave it a hot mess because I really didn't want this video to run on any longer. Uh... And at least, you know, I kind of dipped my toes back in the water a little bit. And, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, the more I keep doing it, the better I will get again, hopefully. Although those of you who have watched me over the last few years will know that I am very rarely pleased with what I do. I'm too hard on myself sometimes. But I think we all are. We just need to learn to be nicer to ourselves, don't we? All right. Well, that is it for today. Um, you can see that how much the brass blended in there, which is really pretty, you know, sparkly, shiny when the light hits it from the right angles. And the only thing I'm really not thrilled about is I just have too much kind of little bits and pieces going on in here. And one thing that I can do to fix that if I want to is, is take something like this and just get a little alcohol on, on it and kind of dab it on there to reactivate those just enough to where it'll spread and fill in some of the, the tiny little holes that are in there. So, all right. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's really good to be back. I have missed you all tremendously. I really have. Your all's feedback, the things you have to say is always wonderful. I love hearing from all of you. So feel free to leave comments. You know, I'll do my best to get to them at least the day that I post the video. After that, yeah, you know, it starts getting iffy. You might hear from me and you might not. So... All right, well, everyone, thank you. I will see you all again soon. I love you all. Goodbye.